in the previous video we discussed logo plc model details and expansion module details in this video we will power on the plc and we will discuss the available menus and we will discuss briefly about the options okay if you see here i connected 12 volts dc power supply to the plc okay if you see this red wire this is the positive and this green is the negative okay i connected 12 volts dc power supply to this plc we can also connect 24 volts DC power supply to this PLC model also. It supports both 12 volts and 24 volts both at a time. Okay. You can choose any voltage. Okay. I connected 12 volts DC power supply and let me power on the power supply. Okay. Now I'm switching on the power supply. It is starting and the PLC is started. Okay. Right now there is no program in this PLC. So this is the menu, the default menu of a Siemens logo PLC. Whenever we start the PLC, this particular PLC, it will be in the stop mode. Okay. The program will not execute until unless you start it. Okay. Let's suppose there is a program inside the PLC. If we want to start it, how to start it? Here, I selected the start button, right? Start option. You just select the start and press OK, this green button. OK. It is asking us to either to start the program or not. Give S. Yes. What it is showing? It is displaying empty program. As I said previously, this is a new PLC and there is no program inside the PLC. That is why it is showing empty program. Let's suppose this PLC has some inbuilt program. Instead of throwing this error, the PLC will go into the run mode. The second option is program. You see, if you see, this is the second one, it is program, right? Just press the down arrow and press OK. So, what is the first one? Edit program. Go to press OK. So, as I said previously, there is no program inside this PLC. That is why it is not showing any logic here. If there is any program inside this PLC, the PLC will show that logic here in this place. Okay. You can also use these buttons to create a new logic. Okay. Let's suppose. Press new selected. Press OK. So it is asking us to assign some inputs, some outputs. And you can select the respect to block also, function block. Okay, that's but we are not doing any program now in this video. So I'm just pressing escape button. Okay, again. So it is going to the back menu, the previous menu. So that is the edit program. We can also configure the logic using these keys. Remember that. Or we can view the existing logic. The second one is set parameters. Give OK. No parameter. What is the set parameter? In the program, we can use different function blocks, different instructions like timers, counters, etc. For these instructions, we can assign some set points or we can assign some constants. How much time we want to run it, some on delay, off delay, etc. etc. We can set these parameters, some constants we can change from this option, set parameter. Okay. 
the third one is program password you can set a password for your program so that you can protect it from the unauthorized access in this menu you can change the password or you can clear the password clear the password means we are removing the existing password okay just go back and program name we can assign a particular name for this logic this is optional you can assign a name what is the next one clear program go to clear program and press ok clear program means we can give we select S yes and press OK. It is deleting the program inside the PLC. It is cleared it. The next one is memory uses. See, every PLC, there is a limitation with respect to number of blocks we can use inside the program or some memory restriction will be there. We will check what is the restrictions or limitations for this logo PLC. If you see the memory options, the memory bytes, it is supports up to 8500 bytes only. Okay. And number of function blocks, we can use maximum of 400 function blocks. And last one is REM. It means retentivity. There is a power loss then the values of timers counters registers we will lose these values let's suppose there is some counters like hourly counter some totalizers etc during the power loss also we want to retain the values of certain registers so during the power loss also those respective blocks which are retentivity those blocks will save the data during the power loss also and go back press escape okay next one is so this is completed just press escape to go back to the previous menu so program is completed next one is setup okay press ok the first one is BMAI number BM means the base module this PLC is there right this is the PLC we call it as base module and it is the related to the analog inputs configuration you remember that this PLC supports analog inputs maximum four number right press ok so it is asking us how many analog inputs you want to use from the existing digital inputs right we can select 0 we can select 2 we can select 4 these are the options available okay there is no option for 1 ai or 3 ai either use 2 or 4 or no ais this is the selection and we can do these selections from the software also just go back and aq what is aq aq means output a means analog analog output so what is there inside this option aq in stop mode let's suppose the plc is stopped either plc is in run mode or in stop mode okay if it is in stop mode what we want to do with the aq means analog output modules what is the signal it has to send just go inside there are two options the one is defined the second one is last okay the last good value and what is the defined value you can choose any of the option so during the plc stop mode this analog output module will send the respect to values according to the selection so press escape again aq type so what is aq type go to aq type and press ok we have how many aqs are available analog outputs are available 
So total eight are available. So I'll just go to the first one. Okay. You see, we can use zero to ten volts or zero to twenty milliamp or four to twenty milliamp for the analog output, right? We already discussed this in the previous video. So accordingly, you can select the option here. You can configure this option by the channel wise, uh, each output wise. You what do you want with the analog output one, analog output two, analog output three, like that. Just go back, again go back, again go back. So AQ is completed. The third one is power on delay. So what is this power on delay? You can provide some time such that the PLC will take some time to power on. You can set the required delay time and press OK. I'm just going back. Message configuration. This is related to the display. We will discuss during the dis uh, respect to programming video and start screen. During the start screen, what it has to show? Clock or input status of DI or menu. Okay, you can change this option so that when during the power on or after power on, the respect to status will show immediately. Okay, just go back. Clock. You know this is a RCE model. C is there. C means integrated clock. So time the clock is available. So you can configure NTP some. You can configure time zone, client, server, or you can fetch the time from a set, uh, GPS like that. Go back, or you can set clock. You want to correct the respect to time, date, then you can use this option. Go back, and uh, time zone. Like uh, the, you can set the time for uh, UK. EU, US, different time zones are available. Respectively, you can configure here. You can select the respect to option. Go back. Go back. LCD. This is related to the display. You can select the contrast, backlight. You can increase, decrease the values. Okay. Go back. Menu long ways, right? You can select different long ways. Okay. Some default library options are available. If you want to change the English, you can select here. Okay. Battery reset. This battery reset is similar to the our mobile battery reset. If this option is selected, it will completely delete all the data from the Siemens PLC. It restores to the it will go to the initial power on stairs. Okay. Everything will be deleted. So the fourth one is network. This is very important. If you want to connect our logo PLC with the software, then this option is very important. Just go to network and OK. It is showing IP address. Just press OK. So it is showing three parameters. IP address, subnet mask, gateway. We have these parameters are important during the uh, connection with the P laptop or desktop. We have to remember these details and we have to enter these details in the laptop, okay, or desktop. Only the IP address, the last number will change, the remaining will be same. Then only the software will communicate with this PLC. We will discuss in the next videos. I will show you how to connect with the laptop and how to connect this software and how to assign these addresses. Okay, just go back and you can use the logo PLC as master or slave. This also we will discuss in uh, next upcoming videos in detail. Diagnostics. So this is. It will show trouble. It will show you any errors are available. Any errors are there? Then it, you can run these things. Let's suppose go to software. 
data connection now there is no data connection i just connected the power supply so it will show you the red status see network cable is not available it is color is changed background color is changed it is showing the status go back this is firmware version we can also update the firmware if available next updates are available otherwise you can leave it like that hardware ethernet see the now there is no ethernet cable is connected if i select ok it will show you the red status diagnostic network error because the cable is not connected right right now there is no memory card inside this plc so again it will show the red color see there is no memory card em status means expansion module status just go to it the first one is no em there is no expansion modules connected to this base module right and it is displaying the available ios ice means digital inputs 8 available q means uh, digital outputs 4 available if you remember our analog input setting we selected number 2 2 a so it is showing 2 as and there is no expansion module so aqs are 0 analog outputs are 0 okay go back mac address it will display the respect to plc mac address this is helpful during the networking In the network it is available sorry it is important mainly events will display here and you can ping the ip in the network also here from here if we go to here so it is asking to ping let's say that nothing is connected i will press ok it is pinging actually okay it is checking that respect to ip is available or not on the network right now there is no ip because uh, network cable is not connected ethernet cable is not connected so it is showing some error this is related to the cloud we know the smart plc supports cloud also we can export the data like we will discuss in detail in the upcoming videos how to use this cloud and how to do the configuration etc and the email we can also configure the email this is the smtp means the uh, email gateway related settings we have to configure here and uh, we can send the emails also and for the last one is card see there is option to save program to the memory card that means it will save the program inside the plc and it will make a copy inside the memory card the second option is load what it will do it will take the program from the memory card and it will download it into the plc okay the last one is copy product you can set some password so that your plc program will be protected nobody will copy the program without the password so these are the options in the logo plc we got some basic idea in the next videos what we will learn is we will learn the basic wiring how to do the wiring for this logo plc how to connect digital inputs how to connect analog inputs and how to connect digital outputs okay and then we will connect the logo plc with the software and then we will do the programming we will download the program we will execute the program and we will test with the real-time hardware thank you